Hey guys, Brian the Lover's Real Goods here. I'm returning to you late this afternoon, going into evening time very soon. And this is for a movie review that I finally got done watching for the new movie Luck, the 2022 movie that I just got done watching for this new movie with Simon Pegg, um, Jane Fonda, and a few other actors and actresses. But yeah, uh, I'm going to discuss what I watched for this new movie from Apple TV, Luck, the 2022 movie, and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this movie review. Now going into this, I was not hating it. I think it was a good movie, for sure. Maybe pretty good. Um, I'll let you know what I decide to rate it towards the end of the review. So yeah, basically it's about this character it's an animated film so just letting you know it's animated if this isn't the movie for you you'd have to find something else to watch but going into this uh f with an open mindset i did not hate this i really liked it for sure um it's about this girl sam who's down on her luck um and she basically has bad luck are swarming around her and everything she tries to do bad luck always comes and ruins her day and it sort of affects her job and other things and I thought she was gonna keep a certain penny that helps her with her luck so basically it can happen anywhere it's this movie pretty much teaches you a life lesson. Whether you have good or bad luck, it doesn't matter as long as you stay close to family and other things like that or uh, are around the people you care about, then that's all that matters. But it was a pretty interesting tale, for sure, this movie. And a pretty good script. Wasn't hating it. Um, Yeah, she didn't goes to this magical place called Land of Luck or whatever. So it's like this magical world or whatever. And she eventually... I don't want to spoil the whole movie if you haven't seen it. But basically she is down on her luck and she tries to find a way to get good luck. And she finds this lucky penny that helps her with her luck one day. And then she loses it. <laughs> And then she has to go get another one and make a deal with this cat, Bob, which is Simon Pegg. And Bob helps her out with certain things. And it does eventually work itself out through the end. It has a big collapse towards close to the end of the movie with what's going on with the Land of Luck. But I can't spoil what happens to that because that would ruin the movie's premise for you but basically the premise is just about a girl named Sam who's surrounded by bad luck and tries to find a way to get good luck for some odd reason <laughs> so yeah and then it involves her being in a land of luck and all that and that's all I'm gonna explain because the rest of the movie you gotta watch for yourself to see what you think of it, but this was a pretty good movie, I did not hate this, um, after seeing some scenes, I wasn't sure if I liked them closer to the end of the movie, but Jane Fonda's character was the dragon in this movie, and she wasn't that bad, she was pretty good, and there were other actors and actresses, Simon Pegg was the cat Bob, which was... I actually liked his character for sure, and Sam was actually a pretty interesting character in this movie. So overall, I think um, Luck, the 2022 movie from Apple TV, was a pretty good movie. I don't really care what other IDMB and all that say about giving it a 6.3. I get that it's for some people... May not be the movie for them, but I personally like this movie. This was not a terrible movie. This is not even worth giving it a 6. It's actually much higher than that. Meaning, 
Uh, I didn't mean to say it's not worth giving it a 6, but I meant to say I'm going to boost the rating up. So for a score for me, I'm going to give uh, Luck, the 2022 movie, an 8.5 out of 10. I had a pretty good time watching this movie. It has a pretty interesting tale, but the beginning was a bit lack luggish a bit, and that could have been a problem with how the movie was starting out. But other than that, the movie itself wasn't that terrible. I don't know why IDMB is giving it a low score. I'm just like, fucking assholes, man. I swear, nobody appreciates a movie that could potentially be pretty good. So, yeah, 8.5 out of 10 for luck. I didn't hate this movie. I had a good time watching it. So, yeah, definitely check this out on Apple TV or online or whatever. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the movie Luck, if you've seen it, the 2022 movie. And if you enjoyed this movie review I did for you guys for the movie Luck, uh, I probably should have given it a little lower of a score, but I didn't hate this movie. I personally didn't have any major issues with it. Only the beginning was probably how it was slowly starting, but it does pick up as you go through the movie. And it gets better of a watch, for sure, in my personal opinion. But if you did enjoy this movie review for luck, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will have another movie review for Easter Sunday, which I've heard bad things about that movie. Um, I'm going to try to look for it as soon as I can. i got to see when I'm able to find it. Because they haven't shown it yet. But I probably will find it soon. So I'll go and watch that. And then I'll return to you for the Muse Resistance album review. The Resistance album review tonight. But it's going to premiere after midnight, I think. So definitely stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this um, movie luck. This movie review for luck, I meant to say. Sorry if I'm slipping up with what I'm saying. And sorry that I said I was going to not give it a 6 or whatever. It was going to get higher than a 6 because I did not have problems with this movie that much. There may have been slight issues with the movie, but other than that, the script did not perform that badly. It was an interesting movie, so definitely check this out on Apple TV or online. But until then, stay safe, take care, and as always, I will see you in my next review.